I must speak with Master James Burbage. Are you a debt collector? No. I'm an actor. Oh, worse. And I have a play. Of any quality? Yes. I think so. With so little actually known about William Shakespeare the man, the Bard's development into one of the greatest writers, if not the greatest writer ever, is a fairly blank page that can become like biographies of Jesus, as much about the biographer as it is about the man from Stratford-upon-Avon himself. Which brings us to TNT's July 10th debuting Will, from frequent Baz Larmer collaborator Craig Pierce, and directed in part by Elizabeth Helmer Shakar Kapoor. With all the right pedigree, this velvet gold mine of sorts of Shakespearean myth, legend, and several leaps of faith in a very 20th century soundtrack and 21st century psychology and vernacular is sadly not the stuff of which peak TV stardust is made. Watchable by its subject matter alone in many ways, but not captivating as it stomps around in the shallow end of the fictional history pool, the 10 episode Will, which almost found a home at HBO, then went to the now unplugged pivot and is now at TNT, is as the bard from the wrong side of the tracks once said of ambition itself, like a circle in the water, which never ceased to enlarge itself till by broad spreading it dispersed to naught. With its religious intrigue of Elizabethan England, dashes of the divine David Bowie, the jam, the clash, and other rockers, the rock and roll glitter of rival and more Christopher Marlowe, prancing in the portrayal here by Twilight Saga alum Jamie Campbell Bower, prose and verse, 16th century decadence, cameos of the great men and women of the time, and inspiration in the form of somewhat of a wolf in sheep's clothing, to quote the series, Will is unavoidably overwrought. As a 24-year-old Will here, played by Laurie Davidson, stumbles towards becoming, well, William Shakespeare. So more burly in scope than, say, 1998's charming and Oscar-winning Shakespeare in Love, or the Brit series of the late 70s Will Shakespeare, starring Rocky Horror's Tim Curry as the young bard and American God's Ian McShane as Marlowe, Will covers pretty familiar great man coming of age stuff, as any glance at, say, Henry IV Part I displays as one of many examples. In no small part, a portrait of the artist as a glory-seeking wife abandoning contradiction, Will, like Todd Hayes' 1998 semi-fictional Bowie and Iggy Pop pick of Velvet Goldmine and Guy Ritchie's King Arthur feature flop, works best if you aren't too knowledgeable or familiar with the canon. Complicated also by Pierce and Lorman's still well-watched Romeo and Juliet from 1996 and the pop culture Shakespeare revival it sparked, Few are so uninitiated. And as you know, our Will, which also stars Olivia de Jong, Train Spotting's Ian Bremmer, and Colin Meany, is going to see Davison's, or rather William Shakespeare's, thick locks thin considerably over time. Marlowe get fatally stabbed in a brawl, and Shakespeare, well, becomes the preeminent populist poet and playwright of his time. Because as they say in Twelfth Night, be not a fade of greatness. Some are born great, some achieve greatness, and some have greatness thrust upon them. And some, like Will, will just be mediocre and easily forgettable.